Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Noodle Code. And today, let's practice、um, minimum number of taps to open to water a garden. Okay, so now,、uh, just look at this example. The garden size is six, and <clears throat> we have one, two, three, four, five, seven, and plus one taps. So for these taps, it start from zero and and ends as a two. So the area it can water is from zero to two, and for this, it can water from one to five. So <clears throat> now let's use some visualization to、uh, solve this problem with the greedy algorithm. So let's start from this point zero. If we want to water this point zero, then we have to choose these tabs, or we have to open these tabs. We can water from zero to two, and for next tabs, which tabs we need to open? So we want to open the tabs that can、um, that have the far range or a long tabs that a one tab can waters as much as. Possible area in the garden, so that we can use less number of taps to water the garden. And we also know that、um, this part is already being、uh, watered. So for the next rest of part, we want to have a tap that can start from two or any number、uh, like any points before two. But we and the focus is will be the.、Uh, <clears throat> and point we want the the tabs to reach to as far as possible for the to the end of the garden. So we can choose、um, this one or this one, but this one is better because we have a farther points any points of the tabs. And for this one, we are also watered this part.、Uh, let me use. Other color here, so you might be have some question of why don't we choose this one or this one or this one? Okay, that is because if we choose a tabs that has some gaps, like here we have a gap to the tabs or which is already open, then this part will not. Be watered, so we have to choose a tap stake that at least have some overlapping points like this part with this or original or the、uh, or the open taps. So now since we are already here, and then we want to water this part, so let's check. Um, so for the taps that um overlap with this one. But also reach the end like this, so we can choose is what we can choose is like um is this tabs is this tab. So for this tab, we can tap this part, and since we reach the any point um or n which is six here in the garden, so. We already reach the destination, so we have to use three taps to water the garden. And so, it actually is is like a perfect search a problem. Like, um, once we are in this layer, and we want to find the points in this layer which we can reach from this point in the this layer into the points in. Next, in in other points, they other than this layer, and like if we choose two, like if we, okay, so now if we are at the point one, then we can reach two three, and we can reach two five, so the next layer will be five. Or the the rightmost point of the next layer will be at five. After check one, let's check. Any point that starts at two, right? But there, since there is no tabs that start at two, the rightmost, the rightmost point for the next layer is at five. So.
um, here is the second layer. And also, it's the same logic. So for every point in this, on this layer, we want to find out a point where we can reach to the end or far away from this layer. From this layer. So we can choose, um, so from two, um, there is no points start from two and for three. And yeah, there is a point start from three. So for three, you can reach five. Okay. And for point four, we can reach six. Okay. And since six here is larger than the point five, we'll reach from the open tab here is three. So we have choose to choose six. We'll choose six as our next um, ending pair, ending point of the next level. And for five, there is no point. So, and then we um, open these tabs. And since um, at this tab, the layer is not ends at six. So we reach the destination and We'll have three number or three number of layers. In order to solve this problem, we will calculate a, an array. Let's call it rich. And the size of the array is the size of the garden plus one. Okay, so that is n plus one. Like we have, that is the index. And for every index, it means, um, so from for zero, for points that start from zero, I can reach, I can reach two here. So I will put two in position zero. That means I can jump from zero to two. Okay, for for one, yeah, I also found that for the one, I can jump from. One to three, or I can also jump from one to five. And since the five is bigger, so I will put five here. So for the one, I'll put five. And for next position two, this five. Okay, since there is no tabs that starts from two, so from two I can jump nowhere. So let's just put zero is the initial number or three so we can for the three okay so this tab is start as three and then five so we put five here and four four ends start here ends here so we put six and for the five there is no tabs that start from five, so we put zero here. And for six, then it's the only one tab. Um, yeah, but the area, but but the tab is like, um, it can only water itself, so it can only reach to itself. That is six here. In order to uh, keep track of on which layer we are currently is uh is six we will have a available co current layer so that means like for this uh, yellow part the, the current layer is two it means the rightmost point of the current layer that's two and while iterating this layer we want to find out what is the rightmost points can reach that can reach from this layer so the rightmost points they can reach from this layer. I'll call it um, next layer. So, so that is the five here. I also want to like to keep track of the um, open open tabs. So I will use the number of tabs to keep track of that. So when we are at this position, let's call it I. <laughs> We initialize i as a zero, and the current layer zero 
Next, there is zero. In number of tabs, also zero. In this current layer, which I want to find out what is the next point I can reach from this point. So for uh, i, when i is to zero, zero, we can find out in this array. Um, in this array, that um, I can reach to two. So I will update the next layer to two. And since i is zero. And the current layer is also zero. It means I'm already in the end of the current layer, so I have to move to the next layer. Also mean also uh, which also means that I need to open a new tabs. So I will increase the number of tabs by one. And after I move to the next layer, I also need to update the current layer with the next layer uh, value. So I will update this to two, and then now um, this is the end of the current layer. So now I will move our eye to here because we need to uh, find out if there is any points I can jump from this layer. So for one, let's check. For one, we can reach five. So five since five is bigger than this one next current layer so we will update it to five also we are um when the i is equal to one this one i is equal to one and one is smaller than the current layer so it means we haven't reached the end of the current layer so we don't have to update the current layer or know the number of tabs we just um, move our the eye to the next position here. When i is 2, let's check. For 2, uh, I can reach 0, and 0 is smaller than the next layer 5, so I won't update the next layer. And since i is equals to 2, is on the end of the current layer, it's also 2. So that means I will jump to the next layer. So for jumping to the next layer, the number of tabs I need to open will increase by one. And also I will, uh, I will um, update the current layer with the value from the next layer. So it's five now. And increase i by one. So now our i is here in the three. And for three, <laughs> Let's check. So if three can reach five. If five is not bigger than the next layer. So we move the eye to the next position. And for array, uh, the index four, let's check. Four can reach six. And six is bigger than five. So we'll update five to six and move the eye to the next uh, index. And so now this is five, let's check. Okay, so the for five, five can reach zero. Zero is smaller than next layer, so we don't update it. And our, the eye now is also is equals to the current layer, so it means it in the, it's in the end of the current layer. So, uh, we need to open another tabs, so increase the number of tabs by one, and update the current layer with the next layer number. So update it to six, and move the eye to the next position. But since like the current layer six is equals to n, which also uh, means the um. The tabs we open can uh, water all of the garden. So whenever our current layer equals to n, then we can stop and return the number of tabs. So here is the condition where we can water all the garden. But if we cannot water all of the garden, what well, can we detect that? If um, let's say if we 
uh, change the ending points of this tab. So now you can only uh, start. You can start from four and end as a five. So we can we change the number as index four. It changes to five. So that means when we are in this layer, the most right point we can find out is five. It means our current layer is now five. And the next layer number we can find out is also a five. When this next layer is smaller than the current layer, it means we can don't have any progress to the next point. So whenever this one is smaller or equals to the current layer, um, we can return negative one to indicate that there are some parts of the uh, the garden that cannot be tapped. For the um, overall complexity, the time complexity is an is a, a linear time that it, it contains two 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 parts. The first part is to make the this this rich array, and the second part is. Uh, iterate the i from zero to the n. In the, the space complexity is also uh, n, a linear n. That is because we need to uh, construct this rich array here. Okay, now let's uh, start coding. Okay, now let's start coding. So first, uh, we have a rich array and the initialized value is at zero, and the array size is uh, n plus one because we want to increase the n here. Okay, and how do we uh, find out the the start point of a tab and the ending point of a tab? So that is lies here. So it means a, a tab you can start from i minus range of i and it reaches to the i of n plus range of i. So for this one, i minus range of i, it is the index of the reach. And as index of reach, we will put every uh, point that uh, that index can reach. So it can reach to i plus ranges of i. Okay. So we will iterate through each uh, tabs in the ranges. And it says there are n plus one number of tabs. Here. So the start is start from i minus range of i, and for the end, it will end at i plus range of i. But uh, we have to be careful because the start point maybe is out of bound, out of boundary, which means the start may be smaller than zero and also the end uh, may be bigger than n. So we'll use a, a filter here. So either is a zero, at least it has to be zero. And here, the the maximum size is uh, n. So now we'll put the the end value in the start index.
Mm, okay. So, but uh, just as uh, my previous example, there are maybe multiple tabs that start at the same start. So here we want to always tag the farthest point they can reach from the start. So we'll use the um, Mac function. So it's end or Okay. After creating the uh, the rich array, we now let's start iterating um, from i equals to zero. So for that, we'll have the current layer, and we'll also have the next layer initialized at zero, and number of tabs. Oh, I, I use count here as a zero and initialize i also as zero. So um, we want to iterate uh, finding the next layer. Um, if our we haven't reached the end, so which means our next layer is smaller than n. And for it, we are in uh, the layer. And for every number in the layer, we want to find out um, the points you can reach from this position. So here we have the i is smaller or equals to the current layer. So we will find out the possible next uh, layer. So where it, it lies in reach array, so it is the i. And we'll update it if it is greater than the uh, current one. Then we'll iterate the i. And once we reach or the i equals to the current layer, we are at the end of the current layer. That means um, we can uh, we have to open the uh, a, a one a new tabs. So the count it was increased by one, and we want to update our current layer with the uh, next layer. But here, we, if, before we increase the count, we have to check um, if we can uh, progress or move the next layer to the more uh, the right, right side of the garden. So we have to check uh, the next. If that is not, so if it is smaller or equals to the current layer, we'll return negative one. After we jump out of the loop, then we can return the count. It is check on oh, syntax zero. Oh, here. So for in. Mm. Uh, okay, close. Oh, here it should be start because we want to update the value in the same index. Okay, okay, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please uh, uh, like my channel or like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have more questions or if you like me to solve some kind of questions also you can leave a message okay see you next time